Welcome to the guide on how to find cheap items for my starter build account is Bane. Let's start with the want. Uh, the first want, you will need around level 28 when you start with and switch to Bane. So for this want, search for plus one to chaos spell skill gems or all spell skill gems and Optional is to search for one empty modifiers, or maybe if you're lucky for chaos damage over time multiplier. No corrupted, no mirrored, and maximum price three chaos. So you can see you can find very cheap ones around for one chaos or even less. As you can see, this all requires only level 18, so you can start right away at level 26 to use it. Now when you add additional mod with your crafting bench, uh, it is possible to increase level requirement. So be sure that <laughs> when you add bench mod, you're still able to use it. This one has empty suffix and prefix. So you can either add additional spell damage or uh, additional chaos damage over time multiplier. So for this one, don't spend more than one chaos. Now, at the start of the maps, if you don't have currency, you can look for cheaper version of the wand. For this wand, search for 18% chaos damage over time multiplier or crafted version of the same 30% increased spell damage and one to spell skill gems plus one. No corrupted, no mirrored maximum price five chaos and you can see it is possible to find ones with around 30 percent 20 percent chaos damage over time for mm, under five chaos like this one very nice one very cheap and this one is more than enough for for white and yellow maps even for even for red maps it has 23 percent chaos damage over time multiplier now if you want to spend a bit more you can look for minimum 25 percent chaos damage over time multiplier 30 percent increased spell damage and empty prefix you look for space to add more space spell damage with your crafting bench additional spell damage with your crafting bench also plus one to level of spell skill gems chaos or all spell skill gems uh, corrupted no no mirror let's see maximum price should be 10 chaos so here is one with 28 percent and there is space to add spell damage with your crafting bench and this one is 10 chaos so now you could buy one like this for five chaos and then use your crafting bench and add spell damage up to 66 percent with one exalted orbs or up to 54 percent with four chaos so if you use this second rank three it would cost you total nine chaos your goal is to spend not more than 15 chaos for the wand my wand was three chaos and uh, i spent uh, 10 chaos for exalted orbs a total 13 chaos this way you can find very cheap ones with much higher than 33% increased spell damage. So if you add 54 more, that is oh, almost 90% increased spell damage for the price of 5 plus 4, 9 chaos. And in case there is nothing on, on the uh, trade, you can use live search and use some 
other want until you find one with live search that is cheap now let's talk about shield first you can search for a shield with minimum 200 energy shield plus one to chaos spell skill gems without empty mod to see the price usually they are minimum 20 25 chaos there is one for five but i tried whispering he is not replying so usually they are around minimum 20 25 at this state of the league so your goal is to spend maximum 15 chaos and if possible get a really good shield so first option is to look just for a shield with chaos spell skill gems and empty prefix without any other good mod in minimum energy shield put around 100 this way when you add additional uh, energy shield mod with your crafting bench you will get you you can get shield with 200 or more energy shield and you also look to have at least one high energy shield mod on the shield so no corrupted no mirror maximum price five chaos let's see there is one for two chaos nice base at the moment it it has 129 and there is space to add up to 69 energy shield with crafting bench you can also copy this item copy this item and in path of building paste and add that plus plus 69 to maximum energy shield and see as you can see now it, it has 224 so this way where is it uh, let's let's buy it let's try to buy it okay two chaos okay was it two yeah thank you thank you so now add 16 up to 69 it is two chaos with your crafting bench and the final result is at the moment 231 and let's increase quality <laughs> that is 257 energy shield for four chaos it has it, it doesn't have any other good mod but it is only four chaos and it is enough for farming red maps okay now let's look for and search for shield a bit better with at least one other good mod either to intelligence minimum 30 chance to avoid elemental aimments minimum 20 or faster start of energy shield recharge which is also nice mod to have so everything rest is the same so also no corrupted no mirror let's search this time search for bio price maximum 15 chaos so let's see what we have so here is one nice for 15 chaos it has tier 2 to maximum energy shield 25 percent chance to avoid elements it is 15 chaos it is a bit more expensive that i would like to spend but also very nice the second one instead of chance to avoid elemental have plus 48 to intelligence and a bit lower energy shield base so let's check in in pet of building how much is the end result 
So copy item. So create custom copy item. You can add with this shield, you can add 74%, 74% increase maximum energy shield. Is that the name of the mod? Let's see. Yeah. 204 energy shield and uh, part of building it is not showing the, the exact number because it is not taking into account the the base percentile so this this is 13 percent base for this thorium shield some shields have much higher base so they will have total base total energy shield will be higher so 15 chaos and you would need to spend energy shield where is the shield um, here it is here, no that is no energy shield just the mod where is the mod here is the mod two chaos it is also two chaos so it would cost you 17 chaos so let's see how much actually this shield would cost without crafting bench mod so let's put 200 we don't need that we need just chance to avoid elements we don't need prefix and let's see now how much is actual cost for 230 is around 70 chaos 80 chaos so let's buy this shield let's see ah he he went offline how about this shield maybe maybe it is also nice yeah let's try this one okay thank you okay and let's add that additional mod 74 uh, percent let's see with with it should be 200 yeah it is 200 even with low roll on on the bench mod it can go up to 74%. So that is 17 chaos for a really nice shield with nice amount of elemental resistance and 48 to intelligence, which will increase further your energy shield. So in case there is none on, on the market, you can use again life search and wait for something better to be posted on trade here is my shield and you can see it has 20 percent chance to avoid elemental elements and it was i think five chaos or something like that of course you can use this search method to find cheap items for other builds and add additional mod with your crafting bench then sell it for much higher price nice way to make currency now let's search for a helmet first let's uh, use search without empty prefix sometimes it is possible to find cheap helmets without empty prefix so 
minimum 240 energy shield, total intelligence 40, and total elemental 50. So, no corrupted, no mirror search. And there is one really nice for 15 chaos, 276, 40 intelligence, and 60 for total elemental resistance. So, as you can see, the next is 25. Now, let's see if you can find something cheaper with empty prefix. So, everything the same, just now we add empty prefix and minimum 150 energy shield, no corrupted, no mirrored, maximum price 10 chaos, let's see, they are two. And first, already have two main mods, so even there is empty prefix, you cannot add another main mod with your crafting bench, because they are already both on the helmet. The second helmet is possible to, to add a mod with crafting bench, and let's see, copy item, how much is top end result. So this helmet can add 74% increased maximum energy shield shield and it is 220 it's a bit on the low side so five chaos and Two chaos for crafting bench it is seven chaos for 220 or 15 chaos for 276. Also, if at the moment, if there is nothing on the trade, you can use live search and wait for something better. My advice is to not spend more than. 10 chaos for helmet maybe maximum 15 but usually it is possible to find really nice helmet for under 10 chaos the next option is to search for minimum 400 energy shield six sling no corrupted no mirrored and you can find already with 10 chaos, 15 chaos, six link body armors with 400 energy shield. Now you could look for even higher. So let's try 480, around 30 chaos and You can find some with additional good mods like faster start of energy shield recharge, maybe chance to suppress spell damage. Anyway, my advice is to not pay more than 50 chaos for your six link body armor. At the start of the league, uh, the, the six link body armors are expensive and one way to get cheap is to buy base for crafting i got this base as white six link i paid 40 chaos then i use alterations and one regal to craft this body armor and then just add one last mod with my crafting bench this way i got this nice over 500 energy shield body armor for less than 50 chaos at the start of the league. So, if you want or need to craft yourself, you can look, you can search for 120 energy shield base at least 90 at this point of the league, six link. Uh, search for 
item level 86 let me explain item level at the start of the league the minimum item level you, you should search is 75 this way you have chance to hit tier 1 for to maximum energy shield and you also can hit tier 3 to increase energy shield if you want tier 2 you need 84 and if you want also tier 1 increase energy shield you will need minimum item level 86 so let's search where is it 86 okay let's see what we can find and you should look for good base like necromancer occultist vestman Cultist, uh, Widow Sick Rope, or where is it? Probably a bit more expensive. You need to be a bit lucky to find it. It is Regalia, Valor Regalia, which is usually the most expensive base. So at the moment, let's buy one necromancer for 10 chaos to show you how to craft this body armor okay okay that is six link thank you Uh, let's increase quality to 20 now let's use alterations and orb of augmentation mm. you need to hit good energy shield to maximum energy shield or increase energy shield this is tier 2 uh, I think is it worth using let's try the regal was bad so let's go back come on 83 percent is tier also bad faster start of energy shield richard is a really nice suffix is it worth trying regal mm, yeah it is worth Ah, that was low hybrid mod. So another scouting up. So let's see. Good suffix, low bad prefix. Come on, tier two the lowest tier 2 nice resistance but prefix bad come on usually it, it is around 40 to 50 alterations to hit tier 2 or tier 1 nice suffix bad still bad prefix <clears throat> I don't need life. Come on, come on. Mm. I it is worth using Regal, but Regal was bad, so we need to go back. Good suffix, but life. Come on. Where is that? Mm, this is nice combination worth using regal uh, low resistance so let's go back we can do better eighty five was probably here is tier one so now let's see some nice suffix. Eh, intelligence not bad 
And now regal. First regal. Come on. One nice regal. Ah, resistance. And now you can finish crafting with increase energy shield. And here is 450 energy shield, around 470 or 80 with higher bench mod. Roll for the bench mod. So, as you can see, this is one of the ways to get your nice body armor. Also, another option is to look for unique wall, wall regalia, six link. Sometimes it is possible to find cheap unique wall regalia. My advice is to not spend more than 60 chaos. The reason to go with, with, with uh, this unique body armor is 40% increase spell damage and up to 100% increase energy shield recovery rate, which is a really good mod. Also, small addition is 10% increase area of effect for your bane. The bad mod is 10% increase damage taken, but as you can see, 500 energy shield with 70% increase energy shield recovery rate, 40% increase spell damage is enough to go with bad mod. The only bad thing is price, so my advice, don't spend more than 60 chaos. Now let's talk about gloves. Gloves, the same way as helmets, can be found without using the empty mod, empty prefix at this point of the leak. So search for 140, minimum 30 to intelligence, total elemental 30%, no corrupted, no mirror, search, and 2557. Five, so the first on the list is fingerless, uh, very nice, implicit, excellent, nice amount. Let's see if, if I can buy it. Okay, visit. Those gloves are really, really nice. Thank you. So let's see. I can add another resistance or maximum mana. Mm. Oh, you can add another increase energy shield hybrid mod. 20% to increase even further. So if you miss resistance, you can add another resistance. Mm, let's see if, if I add two chaos, let's see, like this. Now it is 160. <laughs> In case you want to search for uh, empty prefix, search for Minimum energy shield 100 and add empty prefix. So in this case, let's see, this is crafted. So also let's search for only sorcerer. Sorcerer. Oh, eh, doesn't matter. The best base is sorcerer or fingerless. Mm, this one is nice. Three chaos and two chaos from with 
crafting bench you can have around 160 gloves energy shield gloves so let's see energy shield recharge is very nice mod to have on the gloves and let's see price now 15 chaos so if you wish to spend more uh, gloves like this are really really nice to have 35 percent increase energy shield recharge rate is very nice defense mod now let's talk about boots first option is to look for unique sin track and search for minimum 500 evasion 160 energy shield no corrupted no mirrored and the price already dropped to one chaos at the start of the league it was around four to five chaos so one with 547 and 172 energy shield are really nice for just one chaos now if you prefer uh, to get rare boots look for minimum 26 increase movement speed my advice and chance to gain onslaught for four seconds on kill if possible with intelligence and empty prefix 92 energy shield no corrupted no mirror at the moment at the moment they are very expensive you can use life search and wait uh, let me show you my craft here are my boots for the end game for which i will use for low life bane and I paid only four chaos with empty prefix and I got really really good boots for just six or seven chaos total now let's search for a ring uh, you need total elemental resistance around 80 total intelligence 40 total maximum energy shield 40 so no corrupted no mirror and as you can see you can find very cheap very nice rings under five or for five chaos 91 total elemental for five 99 total elemental resistance for only five chaos and there is empty prefix you can add additional mod like plus uh, I think 46 mana or something like that now let's search for amulet uh, search for no corrupted no mirror total strength 20 dexterity 20 intelligence minimum 40 to maximum energy shield 40 and increase maximum energy shield 10 percent so let's see as you can see they are very cheap amulets for just one chaos so look for one with uh, higher amount intelligence and maybe higher amount of dexterity and strength like this one this one is really nice let's see what what else is if you are missing dexterity this one has 70 percent to dexterity also very nice mm. yeah this one has 21 percent increase maximum and you should you can find up to five chaos very nice amulets and after you get amulet you will need to spend for red maps you will need to spend around let's see how much is the silver oil 16 chaos and 
five chaos or six chaos for 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 opalescent so you will need to spend around 20 chaos 22 chaos for anointment and you will need uh, where is it here it is overcharge eight percent chance to gain power frenzy or endurance charge we need frenzy and endurance charges here is my amulet nice amount of dexterity intelligence and strength and there was empty suffix for additional resistance and finally let's search for a rare cobalt jewel uh, to get cheap and very nice jewel look for increased maximum energy shield eight percent and chaos damage over time multiplier eight percent it should be less than five chaos yeah those are good enough to farm rare maps now if you plan to use this rare cobalt for your end game low life bane you can also search for two good mods two good damage mods so this time search for six four and let's say seven don't search for maximum rolls that kind with maximum roll most likely will be very expensive so and now instead of one you look for both mods and let's see the price price could be expensive yeah so it is at the moment 80 chaos to get this cobalt jewels cheaper use live search Of course, if you need, to, if you plan to use uh, these rare cobalt for your end game low life bane build, search for maximum 50 chaos and activate live search. This way, with live search, I was able to find much cheaper uh, these rare cobalt. Uh, the first one I think I paid 20 chaos and the second one was even cheaper 15 chaos by using a live search but of course you can always use just cheap 8% chaos damage over time multiplier with 8% increased maximum and shield and that is enough for this starter build Uh, did I forget something? Hmm, let's see. That should be all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you will also need for red maps, you will need level 20 Bane, at, at least level 20 without quality, and level 20 Essence Drain. To farm white and yellow maps, you can use level 18 Essence Drain and level 18 Bane and 5 Link body armor but for red maps you will need level 20 bane and level 20 essence drain let's see how much are those gems at the moment so you need first bane level 20 gem is probably five chaos now oh, it is even less two chaos three chaos so it is cheap you can look for one with maybe quality or use those uh, game cutter prisms yourself it is nice to have quality at least on bane and essence drain how much is essence drain <laughs> even cheaper you can get um, for one chaos two chaos uh, at this point of the league, I think it is time to search for level 21 gems. I still use level 20, but let's see level 21. Uh, three chaos. Yeah, it is time to use level 21 gems. Let's see Bane. Is it still cheap? Like Essence Drain? 
Yeah, I had this chip. Of course, if you plan to uh, play endgame low life Bane, you will need to invest into 2120 Bane and 2120 Essence Drain. But for the starter, level 21 Bane is over the top. As you can see, I still use level 20 Bane and level 20 Essence Drain. The plus two gems are from my wands, wand and shield. Uh, the next uh, gems that are important to have at level 20 or 21 are despair and punishment curse. So those are the next important gems. But as you can see, my despair is on level 20 and punishment also level level 20. And of course, I forgot about optional shadow and dust. I think those gloves are one chaos or even less. This is optional. You can use at the start of the maps. Kill a few mobs, then, then put back your main gloves and have a rampage for your map. If you have any questions uh, about this build or about these items, uh, you can join my Discord server and uh, send me direct message, or you can contact me inside the game. My IGN is MC Red Lake. This will be all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.